Hi, welcome to another Geek Moment. The marketing department came to us in design support asking if we would do a sensors demo video for them. It would have been easy to take some sort of a demo board such as this with an accelerometer on it, have one of our guys moving it around, be able to show you the data as it's output to a computer screen, but that doesn't take enough engineering and it's just not fun enough. So what we've done is we have our DigiKey truck here. Been modified. We have an ADXL 345 analog devices accelerometer on board. The data is transmitted wirelessly with this board that's been designed in house by our engineers using Texas Instruments CC430. This goes wirelessly over to an FTDI USB to serial converter. The first thing we'll do is we're going to take this truck, drive it around a little bit over some bumps, and we can show you the data that we get on the computer screen off of the accelerometer. Then I'm going to show you our sensors tech zone where you can find accelerometers like this, data sheets, and other useful information. And then at the end of the video, we'll take this truck we've built. We have a ramp over here, and we're going to jump this off the side of the DigiKey building and see what kind of a result we get with the free fall detect. We'll have a parachute that opens and see what kind of a result we get when it hits the ground. Here we have our laptop receiving the data wirelessly from the sensors on our DigiKey car. You can see the raw data here of the temperature, our pressure, and then the three axes of acceleration. Over here, there is a graph style output that shows the, all three axes of the accelerometers. All right, here we are inside. Before we launch this truck, I'd like to demonstrate a feature of our newest technology zone, the sensor solutions. On our homepage, you can find the sensor solutions here. We use this website to choose our accelerometer for our truck project. Under accelerometers, under number of axes, we knew we were looking for a three-axis accelerometer. So here's view all tri-axis accelerometers. It takes us to our parametric search. We wanted a digital accelerometer. I'll filter those out. And then because we weren't sure of the impact we were going to get, we chose the widest range, which was a 2, 4, 8, or 16G accelerometer. So if we apply that filter, now it'll take us to the page of our part numbers. As you can see, it's the analog devices ADXL345. Choose one of these here. Brings us to our ordering page. And down below, there's for use with products. The top eval board here is the actual demo board that we used on top of the breadboard on our truck project. Back on our accelerometers, or our sensors microsite, you can also see that we have a, an application note section. And here's an application note for the analog devices, ADXL345, that discusses fall detection. Now, there are many other features and tools on this website, and I'd invite you to come check it out yourself and see what else you can find for your projects. And with that, let's go back up on the roof and launch that truck. Here we are, ready to launch our car off the side of the DigiKey building. As I mentioned before, the ADXL345 has a free fall detect. So when it senses a zero G state, it sends an output to our wireless board. We've connected a parallax servo motor to this. When, it's in, when the output comes to the parallax motor, it'll turn, releasing the rubber band that will pop our parachute, and possibly the car will land safely on the ground. Or maybe the parachute doesn't work, and it crashes horrifically into a bunch of pieces, which would be cool as well. So let's do this. Good. Ready? Ready. OK. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, so here we are post mortem. And as you can see, our parachute didn't open as we had planned in one of our possible options. We brought up our screenshot here of the data that we recorded of the car standing still. You can see a large spike of when the car was pushed off the roof. And then here is during the fall. The data on the left here is in millijes. The 120 and negative 120 millijes were the upper and lower limits for the free fall. In order for us, that as they were set, in order to get the free fall, we would have needed to maintain within those limits. Here's the upper and this is the lower. As you can see, we're outside of those limits. In our code, had we chosen another value for those limits, we would have gotten the appropriate free fall detection and the parachute would have opened. 
This is a perfect example of why you should prototype all of your projects to find bugs like this. We sure did have a lot of fun prototyping though. And I hope all of your prototypes are just as much fun. Thanks for watching.